So today we're going to dive into Todoist's new experimental features. These are actually three more they've added since our last video. They've been busy bees over at Todoist. You can find the link in the description to how to test experimental features on your existing Todoist account, but I'm excited to dive into them and give you my thoughts on how they can be quite useful. Before we begin, I want to give our shout out to Mike Vardy, who's released Time Crafting for Todoist. It's a guide on how to effectively timecraft in Todoist, improve the way that you manage your time, and also has a template that you can get started on. Mike Vardy is a well-known productivity expert in the space, and of course, I've been following him for over 10 years now, and I think you'll love what he's done there. It'll be linked in description. It is an affiliate link as to support our channel if you do like it. Okay, so first and foremost, boards in the upcoming view, which will be in web and desktop only, because obviously trying to do that on web will be an absolute nightmare. Essentially, this is a way for you to drag and drop reschedule and use shortcuts to move through the weeks. I absolutely love this. This is something that Todoist should have added ages ago. No offense to their team, but I feel like they should have taken some form of risk on this earlier because it's sort of like a daily planner experience that you typically get in apps like Sansama or AccuFlow woven into an existing experience that we know already. And I love the way, just in the preview, of being able to move stuff across a week in this board-like view. It's very, very nice. It's something I particularly like inside of Sunsama as a user. So that's the first experiment. It looks brilliant. Recommend activating that one. The next one is another big one, especially when you're looking to do habits or routines. This is one of the things I wish was available when I used it. It's recurring task options. So you may think, oh, recurring tasks, I already know that. But if you've ever created a recurring task with some tasks inside of it that you'd like to repeat over again, it was a nightmare in Todoist. And they've actually improved this by giving you options, whether you complete the task and subtasks all in one, or you complete the task only and the subtask live on. I really like this one because resetting subtasks was something that I used to have in my morning routine. I really liked having a morning routine a task, but I hated having to reactivate it every single time. This way you can reactivate the subtasks, which means when you complete the task, it comes back again with all the subtasks that were there before. So if you want a morning routine, you want a list or a habit to end the day, then you can go through that list and have that reoccurring, which is really, really nice. The next one is a very small one, um, but it's something that I think a lot of people like. Inside of task titles, you'll be able to add names, descriptions, and comments. So this is helpful um, in particular for like, um, if you want to like link something like a Miro board or something you're working on, you can quickly link it. If they're calling it W-Y-S-Y-G, I don't actually know what that means, but essentially it allows you to create lit task titles with links in, which is definitely a huge improvement and also text formatting that's there. Somebody in the comments explained to me what this W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G, I'm probably saying it so fast, um, editor is. Um, but all of these are available so you can find out these experimental features by activating it first and then finding them linked in the description below. I'm really excited for some of these because a lot of people will find them beneficial, especially for just for spring cleaning their workflow and improving the way they're doing it. And sometimes this might be the leap between necessarily committing to a daily planner or sticking with Todoist. And I really like that concept. I like sticking with a tool. Um, so I think this will be a nice addition. So thanks very much, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you do comment below with your love for Todoist, do share your thoughts on this if you've already been using this and whether you want to use it in the future. Thank you very much, folks. Please do subscribe here, check out Mike's course, and I'll see you folks all very soon. Cheerio.